IVF process and how long does it take? Uh, IVF is in vitro fertilization. Fertilization generally, but what is fertilization? Fertilization is there is egg um, uh, formed inside male and sperm formed inside male. When they fertilized inside the body, fertilizing means joining together and making a microscopic body, uh, baby. So uh, that is called fertilization. Generally, it happens inside the body in the fallopian tubes of a female. But when it is uh, done in lab, then it is called in vitro fertilization. Embryology lab when we uh, make a baby and transfer it back to the uterus of the female whose uh, womb we are uh, supposed to, the, uh, who's the expecting mother. Okay. And how long does the IVF procedure takes? The procedure per se takes two to three weeks, starting from the day two, day three of her of the female's menstrual uh, It's two to three. All right. Okay. So, how do you determine that a patient requires IVF or not? Most importantly, IVF is not the first uh, treatment of infertility. Infertility. Uh, first of all, we need to know that the patient is in a couple years with history of uh, they are married for more than one year and they are not getting pregnant. The female is not, the lady is not getting pregnant in spite of trying for 12 months, means one year. She is called infertile. There are multiple reasons of infertility. Like, yeah. Okay. So the very important thing is infertility can have many reasons. The problem can be in a male or the male partner or it can be in the female. And in male and female there are multiple reasons why infertility is there. There are important organs involved which is uh, uh, the reproductive organs. In female it is uterus and ovary and fallopian tubes. And male factor, it is the most important test we do is semen analysis. We assess the parameters, which what all is the sperm parameters are good or not. That is amount of sperm in the seminal. That is uh, how they perform, how they the motility we call it. How many person, how much percentage of the sperm is healthy? All these things are seen. So the major factors uh, which leads to uh, infertility which needs IVF is uh, the tubal factor. When the tube factor in tubes of a female is blocked, uh, we do IVF. When there is some problem in the ovary of, ovary of the female, like uh, she has severe PCOD, severe PCOD, uh, mitral. PCOS or PCOD does not need IVF. If there is very poor ovarian reserve, means that number of eggs in the ovary is very less or the quality of the egg is not that great, great then IVF is done. If you have endometriosis is a disease, if you have that problem, if there is severe factor in male uh, um, sperm is very less or the normal uh, number of sperm is very less or the motility is very bad uh, there is a severe uh, severely affected uh, sperm quality then these are the reasons there are multiple other reasons to give these are one of the very common reasons okay so what i have heard is that when a person goes through the IVA procedure they undergo various psychological and emotional challenges yes so how do you deal with that all the IVF uh, centers are supposed to be uh, equipped with psychologists. So it's a multidisciplinary approach. We have psycho psychologists with us. We have psychiatrists with us. We have uh, dietitian with us, urologists with us. So it is a multiple, uh, um, multi-centric approach. So we have a separate psychologist to, for counseling of the infertile patients. Okay, all right. So, again, another thing which I have heard is that IVF is a costly affair. Is it true? Costly affair? What do you call costly? Yeah. As I said, that it is 
in vitro fertilization can you imagine something happening inside the body at a specific temperature at specific in the specific environment in specific acidic whatever ph that the same environment you need to create inside a lab creating that environment costs you a lot you need spe special instruments you need special labs you need highly trained individuals uh, who are called embryologists so uh, this is one factor which increases the cost the second factor is that generally in a, a female's body one egg is produced per cycle but in ivf we try to uh, uh, get more and more number of eggs more and more number of eggs that is the reason uh, we, we we are supposed to give multiple injections to 10 to 12 days of injection these injections are very specific because they are targeting more than one eggs at one time so these are very specific um, injections and they are yes they are expected but the cost of ivf has decreased a lot as advanced through years it's 40 years now two days back there was world ivf day it, it, it is on 25th of july and we were we planned to do this session that day but somehow we are here on twitter so uh, the cost of ivf has decreased a lot when you uh, when it was started almost more than 20 years back in india and now it is it is a whole lot of difference and okay. if you compare the price of tomato <laughs> <laughs> that is true that is so true it's not All fair right. Okay, so even the multidisciplinary team, like you just spoke about, that also you know somehow adds up to the expenses. Like since there are multiple doctors involved, but that, I can't. I can't I, that is required. It adds oh, up yeah, to, yeah. because male infertility. There are specific things which are done only by urologists, and now the newer guidelines have the uh, the ART world, or uh, hmm. we call it. Uh, uh, reproductive technology has changed after a new bill ART bill has come and uh, they have tried to do it better and uh, more specialized so that okay. that is the reason it will be a little expensive than earlier but yes that is the right approach all right okay so along with this like as of now the IVF centers have mushroomed all over the world, in every city. Mm. So how can a person decide which is the right center and what things should be kept in the mind while choosing an IVF center? See, a very important thing is the lab should be accredited. Uh, uh, it, is, it is not very easy to find out. It is not, you can see uh, the... Uh, the social media and the Google marketing has made it a little uh, easier, I would say rather. Sometimes it, it's misleading. But yes, any known, the easiest way out is you generally uh, don't end up uh, directly to an IVF center. You go to a general gynecologist, you go to a gynecologist most of the time. And as I said, that all infertility patients, they don't need IVF. Yes. So the best a is go to your gynecologist talk to them if when they advise you ivf then visit an ivf specialist and it's always better because you might not be knowing google might not be knowing sometimes who is the best yeah. but yes your gynecologist will be knowing who is the best ivf not best everybody is good because uh, there is a lot of training involved lot of experience involved so uh, it's best that that you go by your doctor's advice. Okay. And you just spoke about an accreditation. Basically, gynecologist. They'll be knowing each other. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So you just spoke about an accreditation. Which accreditation are we talking about? Is there uh, any specific? Uh, there are multiple accreditation, like all the IVF labs are recognized by ICMR. Okay. All right. Indian Council of Medical Research, and you can't practice without their certification so that is and uh, some of the very good IVF uh, centers have NABH accreditation also okay. but there are, 
so please don't look for that in smaller towns you might not get it so icmr exam is good and the best judge will be your gynecologist or your go to not not even gynecologist if you go to your family physician any one so uh, she or he will be the best person to tell you where to go for ivf okay all right okay so when a child is conceived through ivf is the child different in any form from a naturally conceived child yes yes the child can be different but the may might have better iq and better um, the child we have seen and the studies now say are smarter than the normally uh, delivered the normal conceived child why it is nothing different the uh, thing is when because these child are very precious they have gone to a family which was wanting this child since years so they are well kept they are well uh, um, well nourished unki upbringing zyada achhi hoti hai parents are more body uh, baby centric so the research says ki bura kuch nahi hota they might be better than the average class okay all right so except the parvarish we are talking about kids in the fire i'm sorry in the doctor nidhi i couldn't hear you go again please they are the high, highly wanted kids in the family yeah that, that, yeah. that is true a lot of efforts so they are highly privileged and parents have been taking very good care of them and uh, uh, nothing genetic nothing different just they are well kept so they are well performed okay so while a mother is undergoing ivf are there any lifestyle changes or preparations that you would recommend to optimize the ivf success uh, um, yes this is a very important question first of all you should improve your lifestyle it's not only for ivf whatever i'll say will be about everything um, whenever you want to conceive it's naturally or iui or ivf first of all obesity it is it is a, a pandemic so please in improve your lifestyle smoking drinking these things you should omit the weight loss is very you should have a good lifestyle improve your dietary patterns improve your uh, improve your dietary patterns improve your exercise uh, we don't advise very aggressive exercise during the ivf cycle but before that you should be doing exercise so that control so and uh, uh, and uh, i always advise see this is a couple treatment any tre- uh, infertility treatment is a couple treatment it's always better that you sit and decide that yes both of you want a child <laughs> that is also very important. so both, yeah as a couple you want a child so okay. mental balance physical fitness nutritional deficiency if you have very important plan for for a baby there are some screening tests uh, viral uh, markers we call it to be hepatitis hiv syphilis a uh, few uh, diseases you should be screened for Na- uh, even if you are not planning for child right now there are couples they are recently married but they are not very young like in late 30s or early even early 30s even if you don't want a child please visit a gynecologist so that they will at least assess you that when whenever you you are fit to bear a child or you have good ovarian reserve or everything else at least they'll examine you once and tell you that yes you can wait for one or two years okay all right So one of our viewers has asked a question on this note only can stress impact the success of IVF treatment can stress yes stress is a very 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 uh, important factor not only IVF any of the diseases stress affects you can have hypertension not only stress but yes with everything else stress also affects you can have diabetes because of stress you can have hypertension because of stress you uh, not exactly have i infertility because of stress but yes any kind whenever um, you go for infertility treatment we always not always counselors we also act as counselor 
any of your close by doctor your family acts as counselor so yes stress level and uh, we always i specifically always say that there are many questions popping up here so keep taking them i have seen sometimes the questions get lost later so we'll get back to them after we are done with this towards the end we'll be getting the questions and we have to um we always tell that uh, we need that 2 to 3 weeks of window okay when do i we i want you not to be very stressed don't take any uh, uh, specific assignment office work or something like that uh, keep travel on going in between so these things are important so you always plan an ivf cycle and do okay. ye nahi ki abhi laga ki aaj mujhe ivf karana hai to shuru ho jayegi थोड़ा सा प्लानिंग कर लीजिए तो इट विल बी इजियर वेन जब हमारे पास बहुत सारे मेनी पेशेंट्स आर लाइक जो डायरेक्ट हमारे पास आईवीएफ कराने आते हैं बहुत सारे पेशेंट आते हैं कि थ्रू मल्टीपल डॉक्टर्स के साथ मिल के आते हैं बहुत बार आईवीएफ फेल होके भी आते हैं बहुत तरह की इनफर्टिलिटी करवा के आते हैं तो इट्स नॉट अर्जेंसी सो फिक्स योर लाइफ कीप सम टाइम फॉर इट एंड देन डू इट आपको इतना भारी नहीं लगेगा करने ओके सो कमिंग टू द लास्ट सेगमेंट ऑफ दिस सेशन देन वील गो टूवर्ड्स द यूर्स क्वेश्चन वील हैव अ मिथ और अ फैक्ट सेशन वेर वी यू टेल अस वेदर इट्स अ मिथ और अ फैक्ट ओके सो आई पी एफ बेबीज पोजेस एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डिनरी एबिलिटीज नॉट ऑलवेज नॉट ऑलवेज ओके एज गुड एज मी एन यू द सेम I say okay. they are because they are kept better. Okay, so that is because of the not because of the procedure, but because of their upbringing. Upbringing. Yeah. Okay. So IVF babies, they um the they it allows the parents to choose their specific traits like the eye color, the hair color. No, no, no. Like no. that, it happens. This is a myth. When you go for a donor egg IVF, there are times. Well, even you have to take you. The female uh, partner does not have enough number of eggs in her ovaries. In those cases, we uh, we recommend them donor egg IVF. In no. India, there are only two colors: black hair. And I am having black hair. You also are having black hair. Yeah. Black eye eyeballs. Similar. Sometimes it can be a little brown. Brownish. Okay. Brownish. but yes it's um, when i am offering you a donor it's your choice you can go for a russian donor or if you so it's your choice but that is only donor egg okay understand okay. only with ivf and 99% of our uh, um, uh, patients they don't want they want okay. similar so that the baby doesn't look like an alien na no? <laughs> okay all right i am so uh, I am just retouch my hair back. If I take a, a, the egg of a Russian girl, it won't match my family. Yeah, so true. It looks like you can have a designer baby. But look, <laughs> they want oh, baby. Yes. They want baby for themselves. It's not <laughs> for the for world. Some... Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. So IVF always results in multiple pregnancies. No, no, Is no, it... no, not at all. Not. At always uh, when you compare it with natural pregnancy it is uh, 33% higher some date uh, it is higher but that happens with any kind of infertility tree it's okay. not only with ivf all right okay so um, another one one can undergo ivf at any age see undergo ivf as i said everything has a expiry date so our ovaries also have a expiry date indian females start losing uh, they uh, they have menopause around 40 47 to 52 years so 10 years prior to that ch- changes of uh, um, menopause start perimenopausal changes start mm-hmm. so ideal time for having a baby is early 30s ideally it is less than 30 but it is uh, Uh, there are things which are changing uh, we call it early 30s so so that you can have your own genetic baby if you'll uh, de- delay it later you might have for dinner if the female comes at the age of 
but even if she has good number of eggs i have to think of the abnormal eggs she has there okay. are chances of genetic disease in the baby and all so for that we i might have to ask her to go for a donor egg ivf so yes right. there is a biological clock in uh, females and it tick tick the tick tick is more for females <laughs> so yeah, okay specific age try not to exceed that age okay so another one um since a woman undergoes fertility treatments or fertility drugs is it possible that the woman get get cancer the ivf now is more than 40 years old and the studies say that there are no uh, uh, no cancer incidences the theoretically if you see it might have increased because uh, at the place of one egg we are getting many number of eggs so theoretically increase but the studies no okay, okay. Uh, the mother who is undergoing ivf she needs complete bed rest until no, delivery not at all not at all not at okay. all she can have an active lifestyle during ivf nor after conceiving okay after she gets pregnant then also we don't uh, ask for any bed rest yes bed rest is uh, advised to few patients where there are pregnancy complications that can have any kind of pregnancy she has conceived naturally then also we i can uh, uh, i ask my patients to go for rest if there is lower down placenta or there is bleeding during pregnancy so there are conditions because of uh, what she has to on, be on bed rest it is not because of ivf oh okay. so let's delve into the questions by our users there are many yes so we will yeah. we'll quickly address them yes okay that's i'm not in any hurry i'll answer all the questions <laughs> only i'll <laughs> okay i never leave a question unanswered okay so you start asking whatever you see yeah so left. social potato is asking are there any lifestyle changes that they should take my while considering ivf lifestyle changes as i said decrease your okay. weight stop stop drinking and at least you should leave it a month or uh, two months prior and uh, yes uh, stress level should be reduced so don't take any new assignments or kuch aisa mat lo jo aapko constantly stress okay so lord garma has asked what are the potential reasons for previous unsuccessful attempts at conception and how can ivf address those issues see there are it this This is a very elaborate question. Three hundred that I have posted in the news page. So I'll uh, uh, cut it short. There are, as I have told you, there are many reasons for infertility. If a tubal factor is there, then what happens in the tubal factor? The egg and embryo are not able to fertilize each other. Okay. So uh, IVF helps help uh, in doing that. So uh, we take out the egg, take out the sperm, and we fertilize them outside. and then put it inside the uterus of the female so ye uske factor mein aata hai tubal factor mein aata hai okay uh, decreased ovarian reserve hai decreased ovarian reserve mein fertility low ho jati hai egg bahut zyada nahi hote hain har cycle mein wo ovulate nahi karti hai female to hum isme ovarian stimulation ke injections deke number of eggs ko jitna hum chahe to wo timely kar sakte hain if we are take uh, any other factor agar ovary एंडोमेट्रियोसिस ओवरी में एंडोमेट्रियोसिस करके एक या चॉकलेट सिस करके बीमारी है तो उसमें भी फर्टिलिटी बहुत कम हो जाती है तो हम इनको एनहेंस करते हैं देर आर मल्टीपल वेज फॉर एवरी कॉज देर इज अ डिफरेंट नाम आईवीएफ ही होता है करने का तरीका थोड़ा ऊपर नीचे होता है सो इट्स इट्स एन इलेवन हुएवर हैज आस्क्ड यू टेल देम टू कांटेक्ट मी डायरेक्टली एंड दिस वुड आई गेस गरिमा दैट आंसर्स योर क्वेश्चन Okay, so we have another one. Uh, Social potato is asking: Are there any side effects of IVF? Yes, there are uh, short-term side effects. You might gain uh, one, one or two kgs of weight. Sometimes, because these are hormones, the hormonal injections what we give, you might have mood swings. You might have little gastritis, but nothing more than that. Okay. So whatever uh, uh, symptoms you have, it goes in one to two months. whatever weight gain weight gain is mainly due to water retention it goes off in one to two months why these are not long term the side effects are not long term the reason being whatever injections we give 
acts only for 24 hours that's why daily injection we have to give so there these are short lived injections so okay. short lived injections uh, they don't stay in body so jo right. so तो किलो ऊपर नीचे होता है वो फिर सब कम हो जाएगा जो मूड स्विंग हुए वो भी सबको नहीं होते हैं इट्स नॉट फॉर ऑल ट्वेंटी थर्टी परसेंट को ये हो सकता है सो यू शुड बी प्रिपेयर फॉर इट दैट्स ऑल यू शुड नॉट बी स्केयर्ड ऑफ बट दीज आर आल्सो द सिम्टम्स इन अ नेचुरली कंसीव प्रेगनेंसी एज वेल ये प्रेगनेंसी तो प्रेग्नेंट होने के बाद होती है ना आई गिव प्रेगनेंसी ओके सो हां ऑलराइट इट्स बट ट्रीटमेंट ओके So another one hmm. by Garima again. How many IVF cycles do you typically recommend before considering other options? Other other options, कुछ होता है नहीं IVF. Adoption, if I believe. Adoption होता है. So adoption is an extreme. There are very few patients where I had to advise adoption. So uh, there is no specific number of cycles said. आपका जब तक नहीं होता है तब तक आप कर सकते हैं और देर आर मल्टीपल देखिए आईवीएफ कैन एज आई सेड आईवीएफ मैंने बोला मल्टीपल अटेम्प्ट्स ऑफ आईवीएफ एवरी आईवीएफ पहले मैंने किया मुझे पता चला कि अच्छा मैंने ये आईवीएफ किया इसमें डे फाइव ट्रांसफर किया इसमें कंसेप्शन नहीं हुआ नाउ आई एल डू डे थ्री ट्रांसफर मतलब इट इट इज अ लिटिल कॉम्प्लिकेटेड आपके लिए वो आईवीएफ ही हो रहा होगा बट आपके जो क्लिनिशियन है वो हर बार कुछ 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 उसमें चेंज करते जा रहे हैं फिर इससे नहीं हुआ तो हमने एंडोमेट्रियम की यूट्रस देखा कि हाइयर टेस्ट एरा कहते हैं उसको एंडोमेट्रियल रिसेप्टिव एरे वो करके देखा अगर उससे नहीं हुआ तो हमने जेनेटिक टेस्टिंग करके देखी बेबी की तो आपके लिए वो आईवीएफ ही हो रहा होगा बट दैट ओनली इज एडवांसमेंट फिर वो नहीं हुआ डोनर एग ट्राई करके देखा डोनर एग एग अगर ठीक है बार बार आप प्रेग्नेंट नहीं हो रहे हैं या आपके बार बार मिस कैरेजेस हो रहे हैं या कोई और फैक्टर है तो सरो किसी करके देखी फिर तो ये चलता रहता है आपके लिए वो सब आईवीएफ है बट हमारे लिए सब में कुछ कुछ चेंज है I hope that answers your question. And uh, we have another one by Sama uh, Melo. She's asking, can same-sex couples or single individuals undergo IVF? Yes, yes. Male single males are not allowed IVF now in the new uh, bill. Earlier they were allowed. And uh, same-sex couple, no. Ab abhi tak diya nahi hai government ne. But uh, single female can have IVF. and uh, for that female also either she should be a divorcee or uh, a widow okay all right so okay divorce and widow single male nahi allowed hai and same sex couple nahi allowed hai abhi bhi hum itne liberal nahi hue hain dekhenge aage maybe some it's not always unfortunate you have to think of many other things Yeah, very so, true. It's a big decision uh, for decision makers also. We have to think from their perspective. It's not only having a baby, a yeah. proper of child, proper. उनको सब कुछ मिले. Our society is still fighting with uh, has not acceptance of the concept only. So let yeah. them accept the concept first. Let them. We have to prepare a happy family for that child. it is yeah. not that only getting a child is important when the couple is still struggling for their space they, okay couples are still struggling for their space in the uh, in the society to hum chahte hain hum chahte hain ki future mein ye bhi ho but pehle unki acceptance hum bana lete hain right because okay. our purpose is not to just give a child we want a perfect uh, mental and family balance for the child as well okay so um label cherry is asking are there any age restrictions for ivf yes yeah. is there yes. an appeal in the new bill they have said that female should not be more than 50 years of age and male should not be more than 55 years of age this was taken in rec recommendation because as i said uh, we have to look for the safety mm. look for the upbringing of the child as well अगर आप पचास साल के बाद कंसीव करते हो आपका जब बच्चा बीस साल का होगा तो यूल बी सेवेंटी जब आपका बच्चा कॉलेज में होगा यूल बी वेरी सो द पेरेंट्स पेरेंट्स ऑल्सो हैव टू बी तब तक कम से कम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स तक तो आपके पेरेंट्स को वर्किंग होना चाहिए ना एंड मेनी अदर थिंग्स 
or you don't want grandparents to become parents mm -hmm. okay it, so there's a question which uh, i get it harsh lagta hai sunne mein it, it, it makes yes, sense that, uh, that is required for a child you want a normal child okay so i am getting a question again and again which is are you planning to help kashmir <laughs> <laughs> are you planning to uh, move to kashmir for to help with their ibf treatment yes. yes yes whoever will call me for help i'll go and my kashmiri friends are asking me since long i have tra i have tried in between fir kabhi kuch season ka ho jata hai kabhi kuch aur ho jata hai but with all my heart i am promising you i will come i will come <laughs> sorry for delaying it i am not delaying it. the whole thing is not happening somehow i will come to kashmir i want to come to kashmir okay um i guess uh, we'll take just one last question which is can a history of smoking or drinking affect the ivf treatment adversely yes i would like to take this opportunity to tell all my viewers and instagram family or whoever is watching smoking is much more detrimental for infertility for over. male ke liye bahut sari cheeze karata hai egg ka number kam kar sperm ka number kam karata hai sperm ki motility kam karata hai uski movement ko effect karta hai sperm mein ke dna mein problems aa jati hain so male mein bahut jo aap samajh rahe hote ho you are feeling cool while smoking when it comes matlab it's not good even for male same with female it it does worse things to female ovarian res reserve drastically falls okay. they say that one year of smoking causes 10 years of aging of ovary can you imagine okay so just like 5 6 years is very much enough to kill your fertility completely yeah. so and this this is the ovarian reserve and uh, it एज आई सेड दैट ये डी एन ए में भी चेंजेस कराता है तो बहुत सारे और फैक्टर्स भी हो सकते हैं सो स्मोकिंग इज वेरी वेरी बैड एंड इवन ड्रिंकिंग एज वेल ड्रिंकिंग एवरीबडी नोज एवरीबडी नोज लोग लेकिन स्मोकिंग को शायद अभी भी उतना सीरियसली नहीं ले रहे हैं एंड फीमेल्स के स्मोकिंग क्योंकि ये पहले बहुत ज्यादा नहीं था फीमेल स्मोकिंग वॉज नेवर हाइड up the number of cases the number of female smoking have has increased due to, due to i don't know what kind of influence but it has increased a lot and i want and these girls are mostly very young they don't know and not many people and if you start aap bahut zyada bol nahi sakte because people feel bad but it's my job i have to say that i have to make very everybody aware that it's not good it's not good for you please it's killing your ovaries in some way okay so i guess we are done with the questions uh, uh let's scroll it once again for sure mm -hmm. can स्किन एलर्जी का कोई बेस्ट डॉक्टर बताओ <laughs> आप मेरे को डीएम करिए मैं बिल्कुल बताऊंगी बहुत सारे फ्रेंड्स हैं मेरे स्किन स्पेशलिस्ट टिंकू मिस्टर टिंकू इज सेइंग हेलो मैम गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग मिस्टर टिंकू डॉक्टर कमल कुमार जायसवाल वेरी गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग Uh, social potato was again and again asking that i i was asking that i am not audible yeah but uh, yeah that potato has been very uh, supportive very true and lord also was very supporting thanks to lord garima and <laughs> social potato for being there yes yes You would. I guess we have covered. I guess we have covered all the questions. Yes, I think. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank yes. you so much. Yeah. Oh, oh we are uh, on time. Not bad. Yeah. So thank you everyone who joined us. Do not forget to follow us on our social media handles and join our communities. And have the and get more 
inclusiveness in his live sessions and other resources and thank you dr nidhi it was wonderful speaking to you we'll come with much more topics and okay. uh, if you have any uh, concerned topic you want us to talk about we'll talk about it we'll in do. the next session for sure thank you so much okay bye bye bye